Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play- Well, welcome to, uh, Monster Arena Bonus Fat Battle. My three golems, rank us. Again, we're at the same levels we were at the rank A video. So, level 37 for our hero. Again, before the end of the game, so this is a viable, uh, team candidate for clearing out the Monster Arena. Which certainly is something that you would want to do before ending the game. Alright. It's Taloon's treasures. So let's get it on. Why not? Again, this, I mean, this, really the advantages of the team are, are, are the same, is that they're a self-healing team. Uh, this actually... Uh, ended up being my first run at rank S with this team. So. It shows how this works out. I've heard a lot of complaints about my three golems as well as a team. People really tend to prefer the robot team, the all-robot team, which we'll kind of talk about. And, like, I'll show at least one video of that. That team, I think, is atrocious. Um, my first playthrough of the game, I actually... Uh, beat the game with, like, Pa Troll, or beat the Monster Arena with, like, Pa Troll, and, like, two of the Cyclopses. They form a team called Club Club. Alright, there's a desperate attack for the win. And another one. Just clearing out this... Team one one attack at a time. Now, as you can see, obviously this is rank S, so like that's a pretty amazing amount of damage to do to Mazen. I mean, that's ridiculous. This thing could theoretically kill him if he managed to dodge enough attacks or something. I mean, he'd have to link up some really crazy desperate attacks. The fans are. The team. No big problem, actually. Surprisingly, in uh, it's uh, in this in this rank of the monster arena, is the Dullahan oomphing the Cyclops, which in practice runs has happened to me a couple times. So. It's especially weird because, like, in most in most rounds, the AI will always specifically target, like, one creature. Like, in the last round of rank A, the first thing it'll kill will always be that bomb boulder. But in this round, it seems a little random. They tend to focus on the Delahan, but sometimes not. Sometimes the heal slime. Pretty rarely the Cyclops. You know, that's the big problem with beating rank B early, is the AI tends to focus on um, everything but the Snapdragon. And the Snapdragon is like the double attacking monster that's going to kill you, so. So, I mean, so much for the Dullahan ca casting oomph on anything. And obviously, the Heal Slime is not going to be a problem for us, so. Although, we're down at, like, half-life now, so. A desperate attack from that Cyclops would not sit very well with us. And of course, the healing means nothing because of the amount of damage. Oh no! I know I win this round, so I don't know what I'm complaining about. Like, yeah, because now there's no way that heal slime's gonna beat us up. Although, if I remember correctly, the heal slime takes a bit of damage. Oh no, never mind. Like, doesn't matter how much damage you take when you get hit with 1200 points in two turns. All right, so that quickly, in four and a half minutes, we are uh, at the last round of Rank S. Is... So yeah, so the last rank of Rank S, or the last round of Rank S, um, obviously is going to be a little problematic because of, you know, the, of, of the Metal Slime. And of course, the Hell Gladiator is a nasty customer, but... Uh, 
most likely, if you if if what if you don't fall victim to like Goldman being killed early, like if your guys don't form a team right away and Goldman gets killed early, if that doesn't get you, there is a possibility that the Hell Gladiator will put Maze into sleep, which is also a problem. Those are the the big pitfalls of this kind of strategy. But this really, in my opinion, this is the best team to try to clear out the Monster Arena with if you don't do an early rank. If you're not going for an early rank B thing. Because really the only thing, I mean, if you're getting good, if you're getting good, like, calling the team together ability calls in the game, if that's happening for you, then really the big wild card and the only thing you're really, is this desperate attack. Getting that to happen is your only real problem. Because Mazin can withstand pretty much anything. I mean, even the 100 points of damage a turn this thing's doing. See, so we're, I mean, now we're, it's just mono a mono. A desperate attack and a regular attack probably end this. Mono a mono. A giant stone man versus a skeleton gladiator. That's not mono a mono. That's like object di object or something. So there we go. There's our rank S victory. Simple enough. So now we'll see the end kind of stuff because it just does that automatically. Even though we've already, we're already the grand champion. So, uh, again, this is my pick as a as a reasonably experienced Dragon Quest VIII player and a guy who has done a ton of research about the Monster Arena and really likes to play around with it too. Like I really do enjoy just running crazy teams through the Monster Arena. Uh, this is this is this is my my pick to get through the arena. Just yeah, FYI, you know. Uh, so you guys take care. Uh, we will do some other monster teams. Uh, so if you're interested, they'll be up. Um, eventually. So, bye everybody!